welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, I want to talk about it a little bit because, I mean, I see the, the comments, I see also, you know, what people think and people have as impressions of, um, you know, Windows 11, and, um, you know, there's a big talk about, um, there's actually a lot of people you know, kind of saying, well, you know, Windows 11 is has so many problems. It it's buggy and slow, and it's, um, you know, it's not ready, and it's, uh, it's, and and it's interesting because you know one of the discussions today is among the fact that some people are having problems, and that, um, you know, my impressions or my judgment is flawed because no, Windows 11 is a terrible mess, and it doesn't work well, and it's very buggy. And of course, um, you've got to take the facts, and this is what I do actually. There's a lot of blog posts. You know, you can go online, and if 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 you just type, you know, Windows 11 problems or blue screens, you will have tons of forums of people, you know, talking about blue screens and problems they have, and so on. And you can go into the different forums. You can go to the different articles, and of course, the first impression you'll have is, wow, look at, at so many problems popping up in Google uh, with this. But the problem is, is, if you do Windows 10, problems, blue screen, you'll have the same amount of, of, of you know, things happening and, and websites showing up and blog posts of everybody having problems in Windows 10. Now change that once again, and and do this, do this for Windows 7. And you'll see that the number of websites that talk about blue screens and errors and crashes in Windows 7 is, you know. So here's the thing, how I will actually address the issue when I actually see an operating system. First of all, I am in no way inclined to, you know, not say, that that windows is a problem or not a problem and actually if you look at all the videos i posted in the last years when there is a problem there is a problem and i make even videos to help you out um, i will make videos to help you in specific issues that maybe a windows update did uh, an example talking about uh, this week i made a video that that a lot of people like because it told them well yeah last batch tuesday update broke wi-fi when you're sharing um, so this is one of the things that I look at a lot. And of course, when there's a new operating system, is it buggy? Is it problematic in everything? First of all, there's no indication at all that Windows 11 is buggy -er than Windows 10 or crashes more than Windows 10 or any other version of Windows before. It is actually a very stable operating system. One, because I run it on many machines, I have zero issues. Now, of course, my own personal machines running it doesn't mean that it's a representation. So what I do is I have multiple online blog posts and, and areas, including on Microsoft's own website, and look at, you know, what is being reported, what people are experiencing, and, of course, at the same time, um, looking at here the comments of people having problems. It's interesting because for some people, the impression they have is, well, so, you know, they're all lying when you say that they have problems. And I've never said that, and it's not at all what I say. What I say is it doesn't have more problems than Windows 10 or Windows 7. And that's the thing. We've got to be careful to jump on a hype of problems because who will of course go online and complain people that have problems people don't go online and say hey i love windows 11 it's so stable there's no blog posts of stability of people going yay it works it's always the people that complain that we see first and of course that gives a impression and that impression goes with, well, look at how oh, many people are having problems, so it must be bad. And that's a false assumption. So my take on it and the way that I see it goes with, I analyze 
what people are having as problems, how many people are actually complaining of problems, and also mixing in a few little things. First of all, you got to mix in the fact that Windows 11 might require on some machines newer drivers that, I'm sorry, manufacturers, a lot of them have not yet done. And that, you got to be careful because a lot of people are in the impression, well, you know, brand new machine doesn't mean it has Windows 11 ready drivers. It doesn't mean, mean that these drivers are stable, especially on newer machines. Stability is often a problem on brand new computers that have brand new hardware, much more than tried and true PCs that have been, you know, used for a couple of years. So all of that together, you get kind of an assessment of, you know, people having problems because of course there are people having problems. Um, that impression or that, that when, you know, the comment that was made was, well, you know, you think these people lied. I've never said that. And I've never said that people that have problems don't have problems. They do. Absolutely. Where my reasoning and my impressions are is based on the volume of complaints versus the number of installs and the number of, um, and, 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 you know, the operating system itself. And also what exactly are you complaining? You got to see one thing first. There is a high volume of fake complaints for Windows 11, first of all. A very high volume. Of who? Unsupported hardware users that are frustrated. And that, there's a lot of it. So you got to take that into account. Second of all, there's a lot of machines that, of course, will crash with Windows 11 because... The manufacturer might not have the proper drivers done so that it can actually work well with that machine. You know what we say when you go into Windows updates and people tell me, well, I don't see such and such update for Windows. I don't see 22H2 or, uh, you know, and Windows 10, I'm on 21H2, but it doesn't offer me 21, uh, 21H1, sorry, but it doesn't offer me 21H2. This is where you've got to wait because that is an indication that it's not ready yet. So there's the problem of people pushing forward a machine that's not ready yet that might have problems. And the reason it's not being offered is because Microsoft might know that a specific piece of software is a problem. The other thing you got to be careful with Windows, and this is true for every version of Windows, the 99% of the problems in Windows are due to the user to the software and to the drivers that are used. So that means 99% of all problems has nothing to do with Windows. That is also something that um, a lot of people have uh, thinking that, you know, Windows is so buggy. Look at all the people having problems. Well, you should go read and uh, check out uh, Apple blogs. And the number of people on every version of new version of Mac OS that are going crazy with a Mac that doesn't work and that complain. It's, it's not zero. It's a pretty high number, especially when you compare that the fact that it's only 8% of the PC market. So every system, everyone that has a new operating system on a machine will and can have problems. But 99% of the problems are not Windows related at all, at all. They are in the drivers of the machine the hardware itself might have something a glitch a little something that's weird it could be and that often happens i've seen it a lot as a tech guy the combination of software or useless software that is installed like ccleaner or third-party antivirus or and so on that just makes it even worse so um the simple answer here is of course there are people with problems there are very few people with problems that are windows related problems they're much more related to anything else in that pc environment like i said drivers that might need to be up to date software that's installed that shouldn't be installed things like that and 
in overall, when you look at the background, I call it the background noise. The background noise is higher on Windows 11 in problems than in Windows 10. And it's logical that it isn't higher for another reason. The major part, 90% of the code, if not more, is simply Windows 10. So that also got to take into account. There are a lot of things that are very similar. So that was my take on it. Just wanted to just do a video and of course, you know, take your own opinion on it. Uh, believe what you want. And, um, you know, that's the way it is in my opinion. And, you know, everybody is entitled for his own opinion. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.